a bit of a comparison between LiDAR and NERF. This is a toy that I, that was then scanned in LiDAR and because it's digital it can be mixed with reality and do some interesting things. This is a larger room, this is my studio that I basically made as a dollhouse and you can compare it with the real space. The LiDAR mesh can be used, uh, for example, to create occlusion or hide things um, behind objects in mixed reality. This is an example of that. The vines are growing and coming out of the ceiling and they're going through the windows. It's more and more. is basically scanning a friend sitting down and being able to have the same friend walk around this twin with a phone equipped with a lidar sensor you can do amazing things really quick but there's a limitation small objects is particularly like the head here is squashed let's talk now about nerf it requires a neural network to process uh, the pictures it's not using the lidar it's only using uh, photos or video but it does a very good job with smaller objects and with textures and colors. This is, you can also render video. You can also render some interesting video based on the models. Nerf input, as I was saying, it, typically about 300 photos to get something of good quality um, at different angles. You're circling the, uh, the object. This is a Nerf render. This is a Nerf mesh and you can fly through around the mesh and when you render it with uh, the photo um, texture it uh, looks very natural. You have a fairly good uh, editor in Luma where you can basically create Bezier curve around your objects and the camera will follow that curve. This is how basically you tread the, through small places. LiDAR on a phone would not be able to render the chain like Nerf does here. It would simply uh, be gone in the model, in the mesh. This is actual uh, video from an iPhone, a bit shaky, uh, and uh, basically try to get different angle going around. And this is actually the nerf that was created with this video. This is one rendering. I then decided to try with less photos. So I did 110 instead of about 300. It's not bad, not as detailed, but still, uh, worked fine. Of course I had to try with even less photos so I went uh, down to uh, 40 pictures and uh, the result was quite interesting. Uh, abstract art, beautiful, but not a fire hydrant. Thanks to Scaniverse and Luma.